fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday, the 18th of May, 2023. I hope you are keeping well and feeling more energetic than I am here after a rather long day's work. Um, tomorrow will be worse. I may not be able to get any Sudoku out tomorrow. A quick uh, warning ahead of time. I'll try my best, though. Um, what's happening in the world? Have you ever wondered whether... Uh, Brazilian volleyball superstar George Santos can multitask? Well, I think we have the answer. Uh, currently, um, the Democrats are trying to um, expel him from Congress. And, of course, the Republicans are having none of it because even though they know he's a liar and has possibly committed fraud or various uh, crimes, actually, um, they are. They need the votes and they don't care. They are shameless, absolutely shameless people and have been so for a long time now. So, uh, anyway, he's uh, in there and he, they, they um, interviewed him afterwards and he said that he could... Um, <laughs> George Santos said <laughs> um, he could chew and walk gum at the same time. Yes, you heard that right. He said he could chew and walk gum at the same time. So I think we have an idea about his multitasking skills. He may have been the first man to set foot on the moon and invented penicillin and various other feats, historical feats. We don't know, but he may lay claim to them at some time. But he certainly isn't particularly good at multitasking if he has to um, chew and walk gum. Right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? New York Times, hard level game. I think you know what to expect, don't you? I don't. Right, so we've got uh, three and a four blocking across here. So we've got three and four here to begin with. What does it mean? It means we've got sixes blocking down here and down here. So we're going to get ourselves a six in that square. And left here, we shall have one and five. We've got eight down here, eight up here. We'll get ourselves an eight in that square, shall we? Right, we've got one blocking across here and one up here, so we get one in one of these two squares, blocking down and one blocking down here. That will give us one in that square. And I just said this is one and five, so the five is there. Right, we have this, look, seven and five across here, seven and five up there. We got ourselves a pair of seven and five here. What does it mean? It means sevens will be in those squares there. How does that help? Okay, and fives will, okay, we've got Five in those squares there, blocking this way. Five blocking this way and five up here. So we will get ourselves a five there. Um, all right, now back here. So seven and five. Uh, what else do we know? What do we know about the threes? Not much fours we can place in those squares. Six. Oh, look, we've got nine down here. 
nine across here and nine across here will give us a nine in that square. Okay, look, nine up here, nine down here, but we know it can't be in one of these two squares, so that's got to be a nine, hasn't it? Uh, nine across here, nine up there, that's going to give me a nine in that square. Nine across these two rows, looking good. We'll get ourselves a nine up there. I don't think we can take them further. We've got nines in those squares there. We've got two blocking this square and two blocking this square. So in this row, that's got to be a two. This will be three and four. So fours, okay, four blocking across here, four up here, four down here, and four across here means that that's a four. Um, So we've got three, four like this. That's a three, four as well, but uh, not, not quite. One, two, five, six. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got three, four here, right? And three, four in this square. Must be, okay. This cannot be three or four. So it's not one, it's not two, it's not three or four, it's not five, it's not six, it could be seven. It's not eight, it's not nine, it is seven. Ta-da. Uh. Now what? <laughs> um, ah, two blocks here, two blocks here. We'll get ourselves a two in that square. Two up here, two down here, and two across here means that's a two there. Okay, we've got eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, and eight blocking this square. So we get ourselves an eight just here. Now we know this was five, seven. So here we've got to have three and six. Ah. But three is one of the missing numbers here, right? So that can't be a three, can it? That's a three there. So that's our six in that square. Uh, at the ends here, then we have, is it six, seven? It is, isn't it? Yeah, six, seven. And so if that's six or seven, we've got missing here one and something. So one block's here, that's our one. And the 
something that's not six or seven is a three, I think. <clears throat> I do believe I've found something. Missing digits down here is four, right? So let me see. One, four, and seven block this square here, right? We've got four here, and we've got one, and we've got seven. So one, four, one, four, and seven block this square here. One, four, and seven block these squares. So we've got three squares left with one, four, and seven, right? And in fact, we've got one and four blocking here, so we know that the seven is going to be there, and we know that these squares have to be one or four. But I don't think we know which is which. But anyway, we do know that's one or four. Um, uh, so what's left in this row? So if that's one and four, what's left to go? Um, it's two, five, and six, isn't it? So we've got sixes here. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I've seen something else now. Look, six blocking here, six blocking here. We've got ourselves a six in that square. And now six, six down here and six down here. I probably didn't need that thing up there. Might not have needed it. Oh, yeah, I've only got it because I got the seven now. I realize now. Yes, of course. Um, all right. Is this five, eight missing here? So we've got the five blocking there. So there's our five, and this will be eight, isn't it? I think. Okay, great. We've got eight across here. We've got eight across here. So we've got an eight there. One number missing here, which which is uh I can't find it. <laughs> seven. I think it is. Right, okay, now we've got seven blocking up here, so seven goes here. And this is a five because I remember the five seven there. So we've got five there. Five across here and five down here puts a five into that square. Seven blocks across here, so we get seven there. Uh, four is one of our missing numbers, so this can't be four. That's got to be a four, and that will be our three. What is missing up here? One and 
one and four, right? One and four. Ah, actually, didn't wasn't this one four? It was this row, wasn't it? We had one four, one four there. Now that might come in handy in a moment. We'll, we'll think about that in a minute. I think I do believe that's a one four though. If we need it, let's see if we need it. We've got se we might not need it. We've got seven going up here, so here's the seven. And the missing number here is a six, I think. Meanwhile, over here we have sixes like so. That's going to give us six there and six across here and across here and up there. So that's our six. And that's finished for sixes. One down here and down here. So here's the one we are left. Oh, there's a two missing from this column. And so three is the last number that we need here. We also need a three to finish this column here. Three across and three across here and three up there. There's our three. Three down here. Here's our three. This is a four. I know it's a four. Four up here. Four up here. There goes our four. Four across and four across. There's a four. Four down here, there's our four. Last number, one. One up and one across here. So there's the one, one across these, this uh, row, this column. There's our one, that's the final digit, one. Just one number needed here. Uh, I think it's an eight. And we have eights blocking across like so. That will give me an eight in that square. And the last number here is a nine. 9 back this way, 9 that way, there's our 9. Uh, one number here, I th think it's a 5. And 5 also blocks across here, so we get a 5 there. And we'll finish today's New York Times hard level puzzle with a 2. Thank you very much for joining me. See you another time. I might be back later. It is already evening here, but I might come back for a Sudoku at bedtime with the LA Times if I'm in the mood. See ya. Bye bye.